Hello and welcome to Phoenix Star 4 End of the Millennium. I'm Fuzzy J, and today we'll be starting our adventure through the Algo Star System. Let's learn some more. That's not a good survival rate. Alright. Spider coin, bright, makes sense. Well, I mean, hell, if that happened, I don't think we'd live through that if we killed off 90% of the world population. And destroyed our technology. We wouldn't live a thousand years. And let us begin. What's going on? All right. Sweet. Game just started and I already got a job promotion. Yes. Go team. Academy. All right. Just come. You don't show up to a job that just says, "Oh, it's fine. Just show up, and we'll give you money." That's how you lose your kidneys. But whatever. I guess she's. She's all for it. I mean, all right. Hope you get to keep your kidneys. <laughs> Ouch. She just wants to learn. Monster stacks have gone up. Okay. Well, if there wasn't a question, there wouldn't be a game, so how will it all end? Oh, come on, Chaz, you had one job. Already got lost. Jeez. On the plus side, right there. Oops. There we go. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna go with yes. About a month ago, monsters began appearing in the basement. Who? It took you a month to call people? I want to burn my house down when I find more than one spider in it. If there were monsters, there wouldn't even be a question. I'd call the hunters and be like, hey, I did your job for you, as I was throwing a Molotov cocktail through a window. Of course I'm going to handle it. I have some type of weapons. Knives. I have hunting knives. That's a... I mean, they gotta be good, right? Starting gear? I don't know. I have two of them. I'm a dual wielder. Video games have taught me anything. That means I'm the most powerful. Alright. Alright, so now we have the beginning of our party. 
we have Alice, who is level 7, and Chaz, who begins at level 1. So, Fantasy Star uh, 4 takes play, or, um, battle system and mechanics of the game are very similar to Fantasy Star 2, um, in the same way that you are always through this uh, camera angle, and except for in battle time, and then you're going to zoom into a turn-based battle. Uh, it's not the dungeon crawl first-person view of the first game, which, eh, I mean, it's good for what it is, but this makes things slightly less confusing. All right. Let's talk to the principal. Well, just from the music change, I'm pretty sure the principal's evil. That would be her, yes. I ain't no assistant, I am a co-hunter. Full-fledged partner, there we go. Yeah, see, if that was in my basement, wouldn't have a house. Might not have a block. How did you close it off? Did you, like, peel the stairs or lock a door? Discreetly. Yeah, that, um, that means you're covering something. Yeah, why would they appear here? That seems weird. I don't know, maybe because you're super defensive about it? Are you? How much are you paying me? We never agreed upon a term. <laughs> yep. You're getting interesting. Ooh, that is a really big telescope. Aw, can't see anything. What do you got, huh? Do I know you? Well, to be fair, if somebody walked into my place and had a boomerang and two knives, I would actually probably start asking questions about the boomerang, because I don't see a lot of boomerangs. we leave? Hey, we can leave the, uh, the academy. I don't think there's a whole lot for us to do here. That is your inn, it's where you pay to rest, regain all your hit points, and revive dead party members. Yeah, that looks like about it. We got some people and a kid. Oops. Kid. What are you worrying about? Outside after dark because of the scary monsters. Well, it looked like he was three, so you could probably forcibly restrain him. Some type of baby gauge. I don't know. Dude, I want to go by. Let me... Why are you just doing- are, are those bouncy pads? What is happening? Are you- do you need help? Yes? Let us pet. Alright, hold on. Ruth Valley, alright. But if you went to Birth Valley and you're searching for him, why were you stopping me from going to the basement? Ooh. Excuse me. 
Flood by Professor, reported missing. Oh, okay, he stopped everybody from going. Um, he won't tell him anything more. And then monsters started appearing. Okay. <laughs> it's a bit dangerous. <laughs> oh, blackmail. I guess it's not really blackmail, it's more just charging money for things that you don't really need to charge money for. Does he actually pay us? He does pay us. Good job. Whoops. Apparently I have no items. That's fine. We'll go over that later. Hey, come back here. Aww. Alright. So, combat. You can enter a command, a macro, or run away. Command, you have attack, technique, skill, item, and defend. So, techniques, you technique points, so they're, they're empty, magic. And, oops, not what I want her to do. And you have skills. Skills are unique to characters for the most part. Um, and they don't use technique points. You have a certain amount of use of them per day, which goes up or down. Well, which goes up as you level up. And you gain new ones by leveling up, and in some cases, after acquiring certain items. So we'll attack. See, Chaz has to. Chaz gets to pick which target he attacks, and so does Pawn. Alice doesn't need to because the boomerang attacks everything on screen. Just with a slightly lower, uh... Wow. Alright. Let's try that again. There we go. That's better. If everybody doesn't miss, we're solid. Got a monomate. Monomate is the base healing item. Another one. Uh, macro. So macro, you can preset certain attacks to happen. You make them outside of battle. Um, they can be very useful for grinding by just you know just two button presses to have everybody attack instead of four or five. Um, also, there's a combination system with using techniques and skills to make better make better attacks. We'll go through that once I start getting the uh, the ability to do them. Right now, I don't have the the techniques available to me. That was a nice crit. That was a pretty sad attack, but whatever. We'll take what we can get. Alright, let's have a look at what techniques people have. So there are some techniques that can be used inside and outside of battle, some that can only be used inside of battle. Uh, for example, this is res, res, or restore is what I believe it's actually supposed to mean. It's the base heal. We'll heal Chaz. I healed the wrong person. What a waste. Alright. And yeah, Han can heal, Chaz can heal, Alice cannot, but we look at Alice's stats here, um, she has three in battle uh, techniques, Foy, which is a fire base attack, Shift, which raises the attack stat of one party member and Saner, which I believe raises the agility of the party. Um, and then we've got your kind of normal uh, attack and defense stats. Uh, strength modifies your attack power as well as it, uh, most skills are either a set skill number for its damage plus your 
strength or mental ability, depending if it's a physical or a magic or technique attack. Um, so mental affects your tech. Um, agility affects where you, uh, how fast you are to act in battle, and dexterity um, affects both your um, rate of dodge as well as your defense power. Um, oops, what else did we have for... This, this, Alice. Uh, she, so she also has the skill Vortex and can be used five times. Uh, it's a single targeting damage attack. Chaz only has heal. And he has the Earth Technique, which I believe stops or paralyzes an enemy. Han um, has res, store, rest, and also a technique that allows him to, I believe that slows or lowers uh, enemy agility. And vision, which raises the party agility. Let's see what's over here. 100 money. Masetta. Apparently I need some new armor, because these things are kicking my ass. <laughs> oh, or I can just level up, that works too. Strength, mental, agility, dexterity, all up one. Hit point six, tech three. Oh, on levels as well. Mental two, that's good. No agility. Hmm, not a great level up. So, levels can, well, are um, somewhat random. Every stat has a range that it can go up between, uh, which varies from character to character. Some characters will, by default, get more HP than others, or tech points, or strength, or mental, but it's random number generator, so sometimes you get screwed, but it tends to e fairly even out in the long run. Alright. What do we got here? Oh. Oh, that's a terrible placement. Why would a monster be there? I just want the treasure. That's right, just keep attacking Alice. That's what I need you to do. <laughs> he needs to absorb all the hits. Alright. 12 XP, that's pretty decent. And an antidote, so that cures poison. Whoa, what is this? Also, why are there three sub-basements? That would have been really hard to build. Whoa. There's a crazy ass looking thing over there. What is this? What is... Oh, it's broken. Alright.
Oh, that one's attack power damage. Okay. Um, no, we're gonna have to attack. That's gonna have to start taking these things out. Four attacks, attack that, and you attack that. Oh, that's because it's free. Or we can just let him crit and do that. Um, There we go. Got it. 72 XP. Wow. All right. I'll take a level. Start two. Excellent. Oh, see, that's. Not good XP ups or uh, hit points increase. Uh, well, uh, that's pretty good TP for him. Oh, and he learned Watt. Watt is a uh, water based technique or damage technique. We did it! Yay! My swing is to. But. Oh. It's true. That would have been real hard without her. Like, because that's highly illegal and we have uh, very long and not nice prisons for you to live in, if you are. Well, yep, that's true, that would not be mystery. How, how does anybody know- how did nobody see them bring these in? How did they even come down the stairs? Those stairs are tiny! But if you're lying to me, swear to God, I will cut your throat. All right. Don't leave me there. All right, let's go talk to the principal. Okay, and here we are, and let's go see the principal. Yeah, maybe a little. <laughs> no, there wouldn't put anything strange in the basement. <laughs> that is the face of somebody who has murdered people and is okay with it. I really want to know what the other five are. And I want to know if they all relate to messing with her. Oh, back to Birth Valley. Okay. Oh. calls himself Dio Sio It's a weird name That fake musician The black magician No Um I don't like your name You get a new name Your new name is Kinda look like a douchebag. And you think you're a magician. And you wear a lot of black and red. Um let's go with video game Chris Angel. Yep, that's what it is. Okay, well he can apparently turn people to stone. 
That's not good. It's true. Uh, well, there are things of... There are signs of things that are happening currently. Sandworms. I like sandworms. <laughs> Sweet. Another 300 money. Yes, he is. Because he is a sucker. Alright. You mean that parcel that must have been the biggest thing you've ever seen? Fifteen? I don't want to give you that much. Fine. Well, nobody sells weapons in this city, so I mean, I am probably the most heavily armed people. We should just get whatever we want. No, they're not appearing in town because I fixed it. Give me $300. There we go. Oh, that probably makes her very angry. <laughs> oh, so there's a village north or east of here. You should, you should definitely become a hunter. I'm sure nothing bad ever happens from people who become hunters. Very, very high survivability rate. Alright, so we have some student dorms. I mean, well, that's pretty much how college works. It looks like it's weirdly bent over. Oh, that would be why. Alright. Some religion. Huh. What's this? The class schedule. It's rather light. But I like looting things. Also, it sounds like my college experience. Not one of these books, it's a school book. Well, the school books are probably over here. There's a report form. It's blank. Alright, well, then you need to start drinking some Red Bull. Dump some whiskey in there, and you'll be good to go. Write that report up in like eight minutes, and then pass out and not wake up in time to hand it in. All right, everyone. Uh, next time in Fantasy Star Four. Almost forgot what game I was playing there. Uh, we will try and figure out where Birth Valley is. Uh, it's somewhere north of us. That's about all we know so far. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day.